Well, it wasn't actually a bad golf swing that I actually found the middle of the face and started it exactly where I wanted to. So good shot, right? And that is a big problem that is really killing a lot of people's golf is poor aim. It's so simple to do. It's the one thing that the pros get right again and again and again, but it's one thing that amateurs can make great golf swings just like that one, but then it has detrimental effects out on our game. Let's take a look at what it's like on the tee, what it's like on the fairway, and see how we should be aiming. Before we get stuck into this lesson though, guys, Matt Fryer, PGA professional. I want you to get better at the game. Join me for more free lessons down here that are gonna help you with scenarios that you'll face in your game every time you're out there. Hit the subscribe button. Let's take a look into this lesson. So there's three aspects we need to master to make sure we're getting a good aim. On the shot that I've just hit, if I've just rolled that back for you, what will be blatantly obvious now that I've explained to you that it was a bad shot is that I am aimed directly into the trees. We can just see 10, 15 yards off the, uh, the tee box here. Like I say, a lot of people will actually make a great swing, hit it exactly where they're aiming, which is the wrong place, and then wonder, well, why did that happen? That's not right, why has it gone there? But if we don't get these three things right, we're never actually gonna hit decent shots if we make good swings because we're pointing off in the wrong direction. And what we need to do, the first step of this is actually establish, well, where do I want to hit this golf ball? Because a lot of people just get on the tee here and think, well, the fairway's there, so I'll just hit it to the fairway. Well, which part of the fairway? Is it the left? Is it the right? Is it the middle? Are you hitting it to a certain part of a dog leg? Are you gonna try and avoid some trees? We've got to be really specific about where we want to hit it. And yes, we might not actually have full control of our golf ball yet. But if I can say, well, as I now stand to this shot and I look here, I've got a fairway that I can see running down in the distance. There's a couple of bunkers up there that are about 270 yards away from me on this tee. And with my hybrid, I know I'll be a little bit short of those. So for me, I actually want to aim just a little bit left of them. So there's actually a path that sits just a little bit left of that, which I want to aim at. I want to try and hit a little fade. I want the ball to start on the path and move towards the bunkers. So now straight away, I've got box number one covered. The first part's done. I've given myself a visual of where I actually want to start the golf ball and where I want to finish it, as opposed to coming in, standing over and thinking, right, where is it? Um, yeah, somewhere down there with maybe a draw or a fade. No. Don't do that. Think about the shot you want to hit first and pick it. So once we've done that, once we've established where I want to do, the next thing, tip two, is this, the club face. Where I want this to aim. And you can see here now, I've got a cane just poking up out of the ground. And this is because as I come in, the most important thing I have to do is now align my club face to that starting line here we can see the little dot I've got on my, uh, my ping wood here. And I've got that now with my face and the dot almost looking like a bit of a T pointing down this cane here. What I'm not doing is thinking, well, I want to head it down here and have it pointing off in the wrong direction. Because if I do this, I've now got to try and get that face looking somewhere down there throughout the swing and it's not going to work. So next part is making sure that as we come in, as you walk into the shot, just make sure that as you're aligning, we align the club face up to that target there. Just get in and get that club looking down now, down that target line. The next bit is real simple. It's all to do with the body. What we need to do, and this is where a lot of the amateurs fall wrong, we don't now want the body pointing at that same target. Inside the path, there's a big um, pine tree that sticks out that's sort of the only one on the semi-rough before the other one's behind it, that's about five yards left of the path. And that's where I want to get my body aiming because what I want to do is make sure that my body is parallel to my ball and my club face line. I don't want to see that my body is pointing towards the actual ball and club face line. And that's where this little red line that I come here, I've got down here comes into play. So once I've got the club aligned, if I have my feet together and I separate them equally, if I've got two plumb bobs where I feel my shoulders 
sit on top of my feet and they're not over either way over the left or the right foot in this direction i want to feel them sit directly on top of it what i should achieve from here now is something where i've actually got a parallel setup think of a train track we've got the right track we've got the left track or the outside and the inside and we want to see that as we address the golf ball and if i just move this now i could see if i just had that place down here that these two lines are nice and square they're not off at an angle because of the body i get them square and from here then if i go and pull the trigger on this one it looks a lot different from where that original one was aimed and even there with an actual terrible swing i've towed it and i've actually ended up just pitching in the left semi rough there i hit that one into the trees much much better but because i've actually aimed a lot better now what i've been able to do is find my target and the third thing we need to factor in is how slope's actually going to play when we get down on the fairway the teeing grounds you're going to see that they're generally pretty flat you might get a little bit of undulation in them and take this into account onto the tee if it does have any slope in it but what we find here is now something where the slope is quite severe it's actually above my feet the golf ball now because of how this slope is my targets up there and this ball has been raised up because it's up there and what this means now and flip this on its head if i were to be hitting back to you at the camera and the ball was below my feet we're going to see the adverse effect of what i'm about to explain but because now this ball is raised up what happens i get a flatter swing plane i get a flatter arc here so what will generally happen is that i'm actually going to come a little bit more from the inside here it's also going to affect my body because of the element of me actually trying to stay upright because the ground's up here what it does is restrict my body motion which means now my hands actually get a little bit more in play as well so with the arc coming a little bit more from the inside and with my hands releasing the face a little bit more what we would tend to see from a slope when the ball is above our feet is something that the ball would actually follow the slope it's actually going to want to come down the slope a little bit more so if i were to actually hit the shot here as if i were hitting a straight shot i've got my flag in the distance up here and i take my club face aim i get my body parallel and i try and hit just my normal shot because of this upslope now that ball has gone swinging towards the left hand side it's missed the green by about 30 yards left there all because of this slope and actually my divot is pretty square it's sort of at the target with the face just wrapping around and doing that so what we need to do is try to allow this to happen if your skill level is greater you might want to try and hit a fade but if we're just going to try and allow the slope to work its magic per se and just let it turn what we would now need to do if i found my ball in the same position is just adjust all these things so depending on the severity of the slope will depend on how much more i want to aim off and like i said a moment ago if i was having a fade shot if i turned around and were to play this to you i would just opposite i would aim a little bit more left now because i know the ball is going to fall right so as i hit this one now i come behind and instead of aiming directly up to the flag i'm actually going to start this one out over the trees on the right hand side to allow for this to swing a little bit more so i pick my target i get my club face aligned up there you've got to have an element of trust here now because i'm actually aiming 10 yards into the trees knowing and hoping that this ball is going to come back round but i've got my body parallel the body's pretty much at the flag is where my club face and ball are aimed over those trees from here then i make the golf swing and it goes out over the trees has a nice little turn and there i've just caught the right side of the green all because i've allowed the ball and allowed the slope to do what it should be doing so don't just aim normally when you find yourself in a slopey position think about that this just goes for 
ball above our feet and ball below our feet. If it was down slope and up slope, that's a bit different. But make sure when we're aiming here on the fairway, if slope comes into play, allow for that slope to have an effect on the golf ball. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that lesson. And like I said at the start, it's something where you could be making fantastic golf swings, but aimed poorly and getting bad results. You're better off having a slightly worse golf swing and aiming better because then you'll actually get a better result. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, subscribe to the channel, totally free to do, and we'll see you in your next lesson very soon.